So I'm Dr. Valley, and I'm going to talk to you about the MOM, as we affectionately know it, the Mechanics of Materials uh, Concentration Area. And a lot of what I'm going to say you've already heard. Uh, I will also be the person uh, to contact if you have additional questions on uh, that particular concentration area. So um, feel free to um, uh, ping me or send me an email if you have additional questions after this. And I want to acknowledge um, Dr. Spiron and Mayer who uh, basically made the presentation and who are in that area as well. So basically, uh, this concentration focuses on developing, analyzing, fine-tuning, improving materials. And so it's extremely broad because pretty much anything you can think of is made out of something. Um, so. It's, it ranges from basically designing your own material to analyzing the performance of existing materials and anything in between. Uh, it's a critical area of research. Uh, even though it's been around for a really long time, there's still a lot of very important unanswered questions out there to, to study. Um, it's critical for safety. It's critical for the environment. Um, it's critical for cost. Uh, lots of different things. So engineers with some knowledge of materials uh, are really needed uh, pretty much everywhere because, like I said, anything that you're considering is made out of something. So aerospace, oil and gas, nuclear industry, um, renewable industry, microsystems, healthcare, um, and more. <coughs> These are some of the folks that uh, are affiliated with that group, and that's always also um, changing all the time because we continuously uh, hire more faculty uh, in this area. You don't see me in there, and that's because I don't really have an active research program in this area, although my PhD is in it. But again, I'm happy to answer questions. And then on your own, if you are interested in doing undergraduate research or potentially pursuing a master's in this, feel free to contact these folks um, and, and talk to them about what their research is and whether they have any needs for students. You can go on their web pages first and then get a better sense for what they're doing before you approach them to make sure that what they're doing does in fact interest you. So a little bit more detail about the uh, specific uh, directions for the research in that group. Uh, so they look at how stuff deforms, how it creeps, how it fatigues, how it fractures, um, durability, uh, whether something is homogeneous or heterogeneous, which is much harder to look at. Um, Time-dependent behavior, which could be linear and non-linear, um, and also design. So this is somewhat also related to manufacturing and the design groups. These are some examples of the research that's currently ongoing uh, in, in here at Georgia Tech in this area. And you can see that basically they, they sort of organize it by scale. Anywhere from the atom, if you're designing a new material that does not exist in nature, you'll go down to the atomistic level, to the micro scale, so this would be using probably a material that's already been around for a long time like steel, um, and fine tuning it for various activities. So like every concentration area, there is two required classes that you must take if you're gonna pursue uh, the mom uh, concentration, and then you choose three electives from the list below. Uh, again, this is very broad, so depending on your sub-interest, if you will, um, for example, if you have a specific interest in bio, then you might end up taking some BME classes. If you're really interested in the design of, um, you know, say, buildings, you might be more interested on the civil engineering side of things. Um, but that's, that's basically the list as it stands right now uh, from the uh, Georgia Tech catalog. You'll have to take as the required classes machine design, just like in the manufacturing area, and then mechanical behavior of materials 4214 as well. <coughs> 